So one thing that was a big reality check for me this year is that when you get older and you are in your late 20s, you need to make plans ahead. Welcome back you guys to a new travel vlog from this summer when myself and quite a few of my friends, we headed down to Notkuru, which is a small little place on the riverside, the river Tisa. In this short little trip with only three days, we just wanted to have fun with the friends. We wanted to drink a little bit, let loose a little bit. Also wanted to see the place where we were, just have normal, meaningful conversations, have fun and really just enjoy each other's company as it was finally summer. And even though everyone was working, and it's still working. I'm so happy that we took the three days so we could just spend some time together. We started our road trip from Budapest to head to Solnok first, which is a city which lies on the banks of the Tisza River in the heart of the Great Hungarian Plain. Solnok is also made an important cultural and economic crossroads for the centuries. And the city also has one of Hungary's best water polo teams. And because we never want to forget what it is like to be a child and we all love animals, first we headed to the zoo. I had so much fun. We have several zoos in Budapest as well, but every time I get to a new city or wherever I am in this world that we live in, I always want to see animals and understand them better and just give them a little bit of love. I was so happy that we were visiting the zoo first, but then then came a restaurant which I was really not prepared for, but uh, well. Uh, well, if you like trying different cuisines and you've never tried the Russian cuisine before, I highly, highly recommend this place. This place was not only good because we experienced it as a group of friends, the amount of culture they showed us and introduced us to was amazing. You didn't only just get a lunch, but you got a whole experience. When we got to the restaurant, the owner of the place came outside and said that we couldn't even enter before doing a few things. He went inside, shortly came back outside, and he brought a huge bread, some salt, and obviously vodka. First task to complete, he said that he's gonna count to three, in Russian, then we have to say Nastarovye, which means Cheers, basically, in Russian. And this is us drinking the vodka. If you know me, or if you have tried to drink shots with me ever, you know that I am not a shot drinker. I don't really like shots. Um, but this was a, a cultural moment, okay? <laughs> it was pretty fun though. Um, and it was really, really yummy, I have to say. I don't always say this about alcoholic beverages, but all the different types of vodkas that I drank throughout this lunch were pretty tasty and really amazing and unique. So after we drank the vodka, ate the salty bread, the owner of the place, the man told us what each element meant. Turns out the bread that we picked uh, from this big loaf of bread symbolizes abundance. So that was great because I picked a huge part and everyone was laughing about that. Um, and salt means health. So yeah, that's just a little extra information. After all this, we could finally enter into the restaurant. Yeah, that's the one. 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 Yeah, that's the one.
So I kind of already knew this and some meanings behind drinking vodka, what it's like in Russia, but the way they explained it at this restaurant was quite different. The owner of the restaurant is also part Russian, so it was really authentic. First things first, the first vodka that we drank outside did not count at all. <laughs> That's what we realized when we sat down to the table before started eating our lunch. That was just a welcome vodka and basically it was letting us get inside <laughs> to the facility only. The second vodka, what they drink in and what we were told is for us, for good friends, um, for everyone who is sitting at the table. The third one, we're already at three, which basically counts as two because we said that the first one outside didn't count, but I'm just gonna go on. So the third one, we drink for our parents. So usually what they do is that everyone who sits at the table, everyone stands up, or maybe just one person stands up, tells a little story um, about one or both of their parents, and some advice maybe that they said and just remembering them and thanking them that they raised us and that they are with us. <laughs> and finally, the fourth one is the one which was <laughs> quite funny for us uh, friends sitting at the table, we had <laughs> lots of laugh, laughs and um, we were joking around. So the fourth one is when all the men sitting at the table have to stand up one by one and they have to say thank you for all the women who are at the table, thanking them for whatever they want to thank them for, how beautiful, how smart, how driven, how nice they are, and if they prepare the food, thanking them for the food. After our big Russian lunch, we were walking a little bit around in Solenok, and then after a little bit of a car ride, we got to our apartment, which was super cute, really authentic. It was a small little village, as I said, Nochkuru, and it was really, really close to the river, the river Tisa. And that's exactly what we did in the next two days. A few of our other friends also joined us in the morning and we went down to the river. We were in the water and talking, playing volleyball, we ate langosh as you do and honestly I really enjoyed myself until I realized how hot the sand actually was. At some points of this trip, I honestly felt like I was in a movie which was shot around 30, 40 years ago in Hungary. I remember when I was a kid, all the stories my grandpa and also my dad and my mom told me about what it was really like having a summer break when they were younger. They would go down to the water as well and just play around, sometimes have a few drinks and really just enjoy nature and each other's company and that is what we did for three days. I am really happy and grateful that we experienced all this with my friends and I really hope that we're going to be able to do this in the next years coming as well. Even though we found ourselves in the middle of an actual storm, I couldn't get it all in camera, but the water was just everywhere. It was kind of freaky and we were also like in the middle of the forest. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, we played a lot in the shed. We talked a lot. We even tried out the sauna that we had there, which felt really nice. After the rain and the storm, we did some cookouts 
some barbecue and that was it so thank you everyone for watching i hope that i inspired you to have a little road trip around in your area you don't have to go to a really fancy tropical place you don't have to spend all your money and all that i think truly what matters whatever you do and wherever you go in this world is to have some good company all right i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye